Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of classifying numbers. This is standard 6.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 36 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a very strange little Venn diagram here because we only have, uh, well, we have a box and then we have a circle within a circle. And we're supposed to find the number that is located in the shaded part. So we're really looking at the integer. So first let's define uh, whole numbers and integers and then let's see what would go in this box. Well, if we had to put another circle or another layer outside of the integers, what would we put there? And so whole numbers, um, so in our whole numbers, we're thinking of our counting numbers. And even though we don't typically start counting with zero, we always zero. That's considered a whole number. And they're all going to be positive. So when we teach children to count, right, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't teach them to count negative. And we don't teach them to count with fractions or decimals. We don't teach them to count 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. So they're just whole numbers that have no decimals. Uh, they are, there are no fractions. And so really, look at this J right here. So this J is going to be a good example of this whole number. So that's obviously not going to be our answer, 10, because that is not going to go in the shaded set. So what are integers? So look at what we're supposed to find. So integers, an easy way to think of them, they are whole numbers. And the only slight difference is going to be positive and negative. And so we're still dealing with uh, numbers that do not have any fractions, any decimals, um, and so what we have here, take a look at this J right, this G right here, this negative 8. So 8 is a counting number. Negative 8 is going to be an integer. And so we could put this negative 8 right here. So we're pretty sure that's the answer. Now realize that even though we have 10 inside here. 10 is also an integer. So 10 is going to be both a whole number and an integer. And since 10 is inside this whole number circle, it's also sitting completely inside the integer circle. That's what makes it uh, a Venn diagram, is you've got circles overlapping circles or circles within circles. So integers simply pick up the negative side of the whole numbers that we don't count on whole numbers. So we're thinking that would be the answer, g negative 8. So what would be this outside box? If we had to put something out here, well, the next layer is going to be rational numbers. And you see this word ratio in here. So when we're thinking of a ratio, we're really thinking of like a fraction um, or a relationship between like a numerator and a denominator. So r ratios or rational numbers are numbers that can be represented as a fraction. Now they don't have to be represented as a fraction, but they can be as a fraction. And so we've got two-thirds. Well, obviously, look at that. Two-thirds is a fraction. So I would definitely put two-thirds right here. What about negative 1.7? Where would that go? Well, actually, negative 1.7 would go out here as a rational number. It doesn't matter that it's negative. But how would you turn negative 1.7 into a fraction? Well, look at this. It's negative 1 and 7 tenths, right? Because 7.7 7 is 7 tenths. And so now that's a mixed number, so that would work. If we really want to make it a fraction, well, we can just make it uh, negative 17 tenths. We can convert our mixed number into an improper fraction. And look, there it is right there. So even decimals can be turned into a fraction. If we wanted to go outside the box, these are going to be irrational numbers. And so these are numbers, there's not many of them, but numbers that cannot be represented as a fraction. Pi, um, that is, cannot be represented as a fraction, or some square roots like negative 2. But our answer is going to be G.